Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Andrew Tolentino. Tim Trout. And today we are doing a spooky edition of Box Busters with a box of 2011-12 Parkhurst Champions from Upper Deck. Um, Tim, uh, these boxes go for around 80 bucks a box. Uh, there's 20 Four packs. 20 so packs. About a $4 SRP is my guess. 4 to $5, I bet. Yeah, and I, I just finished a review for this product, and I gave it four stars because... I think that there's a ton of value. The concentration on the on the the players, you know, it's it's pretty epic in there. On card Legends, autographs, champions, if you will, on card autographs. Um, there's wire photos in here. Yes. Um, and then the wire base, photo trading cards. Wire photo trading cards. Yes. Two different things. Photos <laughs> that have been placed on trading cards yes. in the digital age. Yes. Um, but the autographs, not digital. Um, so there's there's a lot of cool stuff. Some crazy. Th this is the product. Uh, that I mistook uh, another product for, but Parkers Champions has has some weird like fossil finds and, and crazy, crazy yes. nonsense like that. Not that packs. it's nonsense. Go Twenty ahead. packs per box, five cards per pack. Uh, base sets 160 cards, but 60 of those are short printed. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe there's any rookies in this product, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. It is nothing but legendary, retired. Superstars, guys like famers. guys like Gretzky, yes. featured here on the. These, these are slippery. They're slippery. They are slippery. Which is appropriate because this is ice hockey. It's not and steady surface. Hockey. I believe there's also an additional product product that's snuck inside of this product. What would that be? It would be Upper Deck Champs. Upper Deck Champs. Which is right here. These minis. The minis. They're great. Let's show one of those off. They're tiny, so you might have to bring that camera in a little closer. Maybe not. I don't know. She's got the zoom on. She's working the zoom. This is Ray Bork. This is a base card. Um, and, and I think, I, I really appreciate the base design. Um, they used the vintage photography. And they gave them kind of a, a treatment on them to where they look consistent, but they look pretty good. So. And here is one of the wire photos, which is a subset for the base cards, for the base set. Yes. Ted Lindsay and Gordie Howe. This is appropriate. This is uh, Gordie Howe in Toronto with the Red, Red Wings, of course. Um, and he will be in Toronto signing autographs next week at the Toronto Fall Sports Card, Sports Card and Memorabilia Expo. How appropriate, Tim. How appropriate. There's another one of these champs minis. Now this one is a greenback. Green Not back. to be confused with a Money. greenback. Right. Joe Sackick. Excuse me? And greenback, yeah. as opposed to the basic hardback. Yeah. Um, you know what I, I really enjoy about this set is since it's focused on legends, you get you get to see a lot of guys sans helmet, um, yes. which is which is really cool to see in a product. I mean, some some of the more recent guys since the NHL <laughs> made helmets mandatory. Um, are of course in helmets. Is that a Star Trek card thing? No. Okay. This is a rendition, so I'm guessing that's not what you were talking about. Right. But cool. this is a no. Guy Lafleur renditions Guy card, Lafleur. which <clears throat> these do look a little bit different, but also they are still subset cards for the base set. Yes. Just a bit short printed, and they have a different feel to them as well. Yeah. The have, texture uh, is nice. Yeah, it's a it's a mm -hmm. kind of an older feel. And those are you know original paintings. As commissioned by Upper Deck, if I understand that correctly. Patrick Waugh. There. Very nice. Got a Scotty Bowman. And a Don Cherry card here. Head coach. Trump the Jean Bellabeau and Wayne Gretzky. Bellabeau. See, that's cool. And, and I believe that Gretzky... And this product is depicted in, in multiple in, in multiple uniforms. So it's interesting. I mean, on, on the here you, you have him here in his, his Oilers jersey. There, there with the Kings. Yes. And oh, okay, well, no, that is not. But what I do have here is I have uh, Paul McCartney of the Beatles. No, I'm kidding, of course. This is Bill Barber, the Philadelphia Flyers. Brett Hull, Brett Hull, whose line of hockey sticks I used throughout my street hockey career as a child, and I have a Steve Warmer on-card autograph. So it's the base cards uh, with an on-card autograph there. Not too shabby at all. And even the short prints, the renditions and the wire photo cards will have autographs on-card as well. So the entire 
set is a parallel autograph set, mm -hmm. or has a parallel autograph set. I have a Daryl Sutter. 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 On card Sutter. autograph. You know what? We just pulled two Blackhawk on card autographs. We did. You might have. This is your box. How about that? Man. How about this that? We have Maria Lemieux and one of my favorite looking hockey players of all time, Gump Worsley, there with his amazing, amazing um, flat top there. Good old Gump. And probably one of the best names in history. Bork. Wire photo. I'm just called it a wild card. Wild card. Stan Makita. Nikita's Donuts, Wayne's World. Um, I've also got a renditions card of Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux, Mario Lemieux, tomato, oh, tomato. These Whatever renditions you. would be good for uh, some on-card autographs. I think some so. Texture. I think so. Nice work. If there are some on-card collectors out there. Absolutely. Through the mail, guys. TTM, as they call yes. us. You see. Ray Bork. Champs mini card. Very cool. Peter. <coughs> All right. Getting down to the getting down to the wire here. No pun intended. Or was there pun intended? Well, if I had a wire photo in this pack, then a pun might have been an accidental. But okay. There's a there's a great Gordy Howe photo that you've got. Yes, I'm about to show this off. Show it off. Hartford Whalers gear. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and wrap things up on my side of the box with a Cam Neely Champs Mini and a Daryl Sitter renditions card. Who plays for the, the Toronto Maple Leafs? And I will mention again that Beckett will be in Toronto next week at the Fall Toronto Sports Card and Memorabilia Expo. So come see us. Come hang out at the booth with us. Maybe right. I'll bring this very card and give it away. Maybe. I don't like the way you handle that. Just kidding. I have. I'm going to finish it with this Tony Esposito. You would. He's a Black Hawk. Of course I would. We were in Chicago for the National. Well done. But next week we'll be in Toronto for the Fall Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo. Um, Tim, any final thoughts on, on Parker's uh, team? I really like the product because I like the. I, I just like the legends. And yes. you're going to get a lot of old photos that you don't normally get to see. And there's some, you know, there's some good value because you're getting on-card autographs. One to two autos per box, I believe it is. Yep. So your every box we've tested out so far right? has had two. So yeah, there's I, definitely some value inside of these boxes. I, I totally agree with you. I think that because the product is so much focused on uh, legends, uh, the fact that they're that the autographs in here are on-card, um, you have a kind of a concentrated. Uh, concentrated rip where you're going to be, you know, pulling legends and, and autographs from um, from those guys. So, uh, with that being said, I'm Andrew Tolentino, Tim Trout, and we'll see you next time or at the Toronto Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo next week. See you next time. Happy Halloween.